And as power shifts at the executive mansion, state lawmakers are meeting to debate hundreds of proposed new laws. One of them has to do with texting or emailing lewd images. Jake Burns joins us live to explain. Jake. You know, Candace, this first week of the General Assembly is really a half week, and it's a lot about getting organized and getting things in order. It does give state lawmakers a chance to get publicity and get some exposure for bills or issues they feel are really important to them. Well, two state lawmakers from our region, Senator Jennifer McClellan, a Democrat, and Delegate Carrie Corner, a Republican, they've signed on to a bill that would punish people who send unsolicited lewd images to another person. Now, the more common phrase, of course, is sexting. There's also other terms. But backers of this bill say right now under Virginia law, minors are protected from this kind of action, but adults are not. They want to give victims of digital sexual harassment a way to fight back. This bill would allow Commonwealth's attorneys to pursue fines for offenders, $250 for the first offense and $500 for each one after that. The dating app Bumble has actually signed on to this effort, legislating, uh, uh, legislative effort, interestingly enough. Now, a couple years ago, a Pew Research poll from a few years back found 53% of young women and 37% of young men report this kind of digital sexual harassment. We already have laws on the books that protect uh, people from flashing, uh, but flashing basically has gone digital. It creates a lot of trauma in the lives of victims of, of this type of harassment. And we have an opportunity in Virginia to protect um, women especially. We know that women are much more likely to be victims of this harassment. We should note a similar kind of bill made it out of one chamber, but not both chambers of the General Assembly during last year's session. Supporters of the effort this year say that was because there were concerns over unintended consequences with creating new criminal code and that they didn't have time to fix those concerns last year. They hope the tweaks they've made to the legislation this year will get it across the finish line. We'll, of course, keep you updated on what develops with that.